Hey everybody, Ali couldn't make it for the video today, so I'll be taking over and telling you guys how to make some good music. My name is Chester Shamrock, born in America. I know all there is to know about the EDMs. Now in order to make some good music, you gotta go to the origins. It all starts with a propane tank, a barbecue, and a Chevy pickup truck. When you analyze that dim there V8 engine alongside the viscosity of the propane, the Chevy does the reverse angle equation. From there you take the propane, you add it to the membrane, and you make the EDMs. Merka. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. Thank you, Chester, for that marvelous intro. Much appreciated. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Today is going to be about a trick that you can use that I learned from Bass Jackers in one of their songs. And it is using a low pass filter on your riser snare or build up snare. So this is going to be on your snare drum. You could use it on other elements too. And it's going to be the segment before your drop, the build up before the drop. So let's have a listen to this snare drum. And I'll explain a little bit further on the benefits and how you can incorporate it into your own productions. So that was just the snare drum, uh, just in solo. And if you see here, this automation curve is going from a value of 34% to 50%. And this is a very quick and easy way. You can do this on like samples. In this case, it's a sample that's playing back. You could do it on the full blown loop if you have like a snare riser loop. Highly recommend it. And the reason why is that when you start at a lower value, so this snare drum, I'm automating this levels adjustment. This um, X modifier is the low pass filter. The reason why we're doing that is that we're starting the riser or the buildup with a low pass filter. And so it's softer, it's more gentle, and we're building up into it. It's almost the equivalent of starting with maybe a smaller velocity you know, a quieter velocity. So you can do a variety of stuff. Um, with my MIDI here, I did play around with the velocity, but I wanted a pretty steady motion. So what I did there was I went, I created an automation clip and I found that sweet spot where it wasn't too much because if you bring down this value of 34% to like 20 or 10%, you'll barely hear it cut through that low pass filter. I just wanted it to be sufficient so that the snare is playing back, but the listener, it's like almost like an unconscious thing. The listener just thinks that, oh, the snare is getting more powerful. But in fact, we're just kind of returning to a normal value of 50%, which is this linear curve here. So this trick Bass Jackers does, I've done this on uh, many tracks, and this is a way of you building energy into the drop and sculpting away because if I didn't do this, so let's go ahead and just make this like 50%, okay? And let's just solo this again. It's still good, like it's still like we're doing some simple stuff, we're doing endless smile, we're trying to make this like build up, but it's not as good as having that low pass. And when we have that low pass, It just meshes so well with other components so that if we listen to everything. This way, when you do this, you're going to have a lot more space. The drop is going to sound more powerful. And Bass Jackers also mentioned, um, you know, when you build up a lot of times when we when we go upwards right when we go upwards we're, we're going up so we have more high-end energy so this is a way of taming those highs taming that air using that low pass filter you can use it on other things as well but this is a trick that i do anywhere from like just a little bit just to the point where like you can just kick it hear it kind of kick in place once you hear that low pass filter just make that snare drum a little bit gentle Find that sweet spot. For me, it was 34% and then build gradually into that 50%. So it's a really nice, simple tip 
that can elevate your guys' uh, buildups. It's all about sculpting space because even though the drop is around minus 5.5 RMS, this buildup is quite soft in comparison, maybe like minus 12 or minus 11 or something like that. Um, and so that snare drum that's being low passed has a big effect. Um, I sent it to somebody and they were like, hey, this sounds cleaner. And I was like, yeah, it's because of that low pass filter. So small things can go a long way in your productions. If you guys liked this tutorial, remember to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more of Chester, let me know. I'll, I'll hook him up. Maybe Chester will be back, maybe a different character. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any requests, just throw them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.